Hey baseball fans, it's Jason. Hope you're doing well. Rocking it here from my office. I um, wanted to give you an update on what's going on between MLB and the MLB Players Association, the union. Um, I've been giving kind of regular updates. They'll all be in the description down below. So if you haven't seen them, I encourage you to take a look at them. Um, and if you're a baseball fan, by the way, and you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And please hit that notification so you don't miss any of the videos I'm going to be putting out. But your support on this channel will be greatly appreciated. It would mean a lot. I want to continue to grow this channel. Um, with that said, here's what we know now. Um, we, know, we know the most recent proposal from the MLB <clears throat> owners. And um, essentially, what they proposed this past week was not only the their salary reduction that the players thought they had already agreed to, but an additional anywhere from 30 to 60% salary reduction on top of that. Um, in which case, would say, let's say Mike Trout and Garrett Cole make about $35, $36 million a year. It, would, it was originally supposed to be a prorated salary based on games played. <clears throat> well, that's what they thought they were agreeing to. So let's say it was a half a season, half of 30, 36, maybe $18 million. Now, as an additional reduction, those guys would be making about $9 million instead of 36 or 35. So an, an additional substantial reduction. Um, so while it's, <laughs> it's, uh, that's a pretty, it's a, basically it's a dick punch to the players. Um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, first of all, if you're making only $9 million a year, you're making more than 99% of the people in the world, particularly right now, you know, first line workers and people that are fighting this COVID-19. But that said, it's still, the players are the ones that are going to be going out there and putting themselves at risk every day. Um, for COVID-19 until we have a vaccine, until things are under control. So the owners, are, you know, under the, they don't want to lose money. I get it. And now we've had some owners even say that they want to let the season just be completely shut down because they don't want to lose money or they want to save money. And some owners have already gone to the extremes of not paying any of their minor league systems or gutting their entire minor league system and getting rid of it um, for financial or, you know, fiscal, fiscal responsibility, whatever you want to call it. Um, billionaires trying to save a million dollars because of the $400 a week that they were paying their minor leaguers. To me, it doesn't make any sense. You're, you're already sitting on billions in profits. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't sit well with me personally. Now, the players, on the other hand, uh, and the union, they want a prorated season, so they were, you know, they would, they would like, you know, anywhere from 100 to 120 game season, which would make it a little more than half. So it would make a little bit more than half. They've already agreed in principle, to a pay reduction, okay? They know this because playing without fans, I mean, the majority of baseball revenues come from three places, ticket sales, concessions, and parking. None of those are going to be going on, so we know the teams are not going to be bringing in their revenues. Now, <clears throat> will their TV network subscriptions go up? Will there be some kind of deal where they get some TV coverage and people can pay a certain amount to see all their games? Maybe, who knows? I don't know what the, what's going on with that, but um, they're miles apart right now. Um, and it was a soft deadline of the first week in June to kind of come to some kind of agreement so that they can get back to it and abbreviate it spring training with, with the hopes of starting the season July 1st for an 82-game season. If they extend it even further, you're talking about you know going into October for the regular season and then going even further after that. And <clears throat> keep in mind, too, the further you go, the closer you're going to be to any potential flare-up for COVID. It's one reason why some colleges are ending before Thanksgiving to beat that kind of, you know, beat that potential flare-up that's going to potentially happen in December and January. So, um, so that's what we know. <clears throat> They're pretty far apart. The players want a prorated salary <clears throat> at um, at their regular pages for the certain amount of games that they're playing, or that what they would play. Um, owners want substantial reduction and then more reduction uh, because they're going to be losing money and they want to save money, even though they're sitting on mountains of profits and this would only be a temporary thing. They're not really close right now, so there is a chance that this the season could not happen. Um, there is some optimism because of the more more owners than not are want this to happen. Certain owners are showing a willingness to let the whole thing just die and have no season. But the, you know, right now the majority of minds are prevailing. So hopefully that's a good thing. Hopefully they come to some kind of compromise. Both sides are going to have to come to an agreement when they both feel like they won and they both feel like they lost, and not only one or the other. Uh, it's just the way it has to be. I mean. <clears throat> You know, this is where we are in a pandemic, which actually could have been avoided um, 
you know, it never had to get to this level, but it, the fact is that we're here and it's affecting everybody. So, um, that's where we're at. So they're not on the same page right now. And, uh, hopefully that, you know, hopefully they'll come to some kind of agreement, but the players union has certain conditions and the owners have certain conditions and let's see what the midpoint is, but I'm going to keep you updated as to how, you know, how close they get to the midpoint and the next steps that happen. So, um, again, if you're a baseball fan, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, please click the thumbs up. I want to continue feeding you updates as we go on. And I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of other baseball related videos as well. And the next video I'm going to put out is actually the top, um, the, actually the biggest busts in major league baseball that were the number one draft pick. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be a good video. You're not going to want to miss it. So hit that subscribe button and the notification next to it. Aside from that, be healthy, be safe, look out for each other, and I will talk to you next time.